Hello all my awesome peoples. I'm glad that you're back for another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Taryn. Um, this is my YouTube channel, Cultivating My Vibe. I've got a bunch of other videos if you want to check them out. But in the meantime, let's get into today's video. So I wanted to start by just saying that it is a beautiful day. Like genuinely, I woke up and like I opened my windows because you know, like light, it, well not the windows, the curtains. I open that so that you guys can see my face and it'll be light enough. And oh my gosh, it is just such a lovely day. Like, the clouds and everything's green and... Let's just take a moment and appreciate this beautiful world that God has made for us. Anywho, that's not um what my video is about. As you know from my title and my thumbnail, I am talking to you guys about how to hear God's voice. So this is something that a lot of Christians struggle with, especially in the beginning, because, you know, if I'm hearing someone else's voice, then it's like, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. And you can like actively have that like verbal conversation. You can hear everything coming in and going out. But with God, it's not always like that. Obviously, he can speak in an audible voice, but at least in my ideas, my, my history, that's not how he tends to talk to me. Now, I know, and I hope my mum's okay with me sharing this, I know he's spoken to her with like an audible voice before, but general consensus amongst me and a bunch of Christian friends is that a lot of the time when we hear God speak, it's not that audible voice. So it can be really tricky to tell, well, if it's not like something audible, how can I hear him? So I've got a few things that I want to get into with you guys and just kind of teach you, you know, how you can be hearing God's, vo God's voice and God's word. Okay, so number one is, of course, reading the Bible. Um, I have a few Bibles. I would flex them all, but they're... Oh, actually, there's one right here. This is my Bible. Um, it's got all the scriptures and everything that should be in the Bible in there. Um, not majorly highlighted this one, but I've got a few highlighted scriptures. Oh wait, there's one. What have I got highlighted? Oh, this is a sticky note highlight and an actual highlight. Huh. Alrighty. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord replied, don't say I'm too young for you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you. Now in this um, scripture, he's of course talking to Jeremiah. So in this, um, God is calling Jeremiah and he's gone, hey, come do this thing. And the other's gone like, I'm too young. And he's gone, don't say I'm too young. Now in this, it is him speaking specifically to Jeremiah, but his words are lifted off the page and transported through to you. Don't say, I am too young. That is not just saying, hey, Jeremiah, you get an exemption. But that's saying to you as a young person, hey, I know this can be scary and I know you might not feel equipped, but you only need me, you only need God. Do not say, I am too young, for you must go wherever I send you. And as you read the Bible, verses like this just kind of tend to pop out at you sometimes. So sometimes when you're reading, you're going through like a list of names and genealogy, all of which is important, but it's kind of like, well, how am I supposed to hear God through this? And I completely understand that. But when you're reading the Bible, when you're reading the scriptures, it is God's voice. It's God's word on paper. So you are getting the blessed opportunity to hear his words. And it's an amazing, it's amazing. Just honestly so amazing. So if you want to be hearing God's voice more, my number one tip is to pick up your Bible and just read it. If you've never read your Bible before, um, the Gospels is a really good place to start. So they're the first books of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, they just kind of give an outline and an overview of Jesus's ministry and like the character of Jesus who we know um, came to earth and died on the cross to save us. Um, but if you want more information, yes, I definitely recommend the Bible. Um, it's how God speaks to us. It is literally his word. There are so many like amazing principles in this book, um, you know, like how to be 
who God has called you to be. You know, there's like the Ten Commandments, which is how God wants us to live. Like, don't kill people. That's a pretty easy one. But it's in writing here for you in case you ever forget. So when you read his word, you are getting to hear his wisdom, his voice, just his outpouring in you. So yes, that is my number one on how to hear God's voice more. My number two is to just sit with him. This can be tricky, and I understand that, especially if you're new to the faith or you just haven't done this before. But it's a matter of opening your ears up to him. Not necessarily these ones, but sitting down and being like, Lord, I make a space for you. I want you to join me, and I just want to sit and I want to receive from you. I want to hear from you. And I've prayed before for a specific thing, like, God, I don't know what choice to make. Can you, can you speak to me about this? And I've also just gone, God, I just need you. I don't care what you want to give me. I just need something of you. So when you do this, you're just kind of opening up that space and letting him in because it's easy in this world to just be constantly running around and you know, trying to get this done and that done and this done and that done and then just being like, huh, why doesn't God talk to me? Because you never made time. You never made that opportunity f to sit because sometimes he listens and we just don't hear. So when you take this time to sit and just put your focus on him, you're saying, God, I'm here and I'm listening to whatever it is you want to tell me. So that's obviously a really good way to hear God because Often God speaks to us in this still and silent voice, not silent, um, this quiet voice. And it's just a thought that comes into your head that you didn't really think. And it's just God just, you know, sowing some seeds in your brain. Sounds a little weird, but stick with me. And when you take the time to listen to that, you can come to that realization it's God, but in the hustle bustle of your life, you're just gonna dismiss that so quickly and I know because I've done it and that's okay but genuinely to be hearing him you need to make sure that you're listening to him so make sure that you are taking time to just sit in his presence and this could just be you locking yourself in your bedroom like myself just sit invite him in open with prayer is my suggestion um, you know Lord I invite you into this space Lord come and have your way in me and just see what amazing stuff he's going to do for you. And if you don't feel like, you know, you've heard him necessarily, that's still okay. You took time to sit in his, in his presence. And that's forever going to be a good thing. So, yes, make sure that you are sitting and you're spending time with God. My next one is kind of again about that um, still small voice. And that comes when we are watching TV or listening to music or on YouTube or whatever it is that we're doing because sometimes you have that little gut feeling you have that just this doesn't feel right and a lot of people would refer to it as intuition or you know that gut instinct or something but that can be how the Holy Spirit is speaking to you so there have definitely been movies and shows that I'm not allowed to watch. Now that's not saying mum and dad have said no, that's saying God has advised me, God has guided me, that that show, that song, that whatever is not for me. So if you're listening, even if you're not even certain it's God, but you just feel something in you, in your spirit, in your gut, in wherever, that says this isn't right, listen to it. Um, one of the things that God said for me not to watch is this movie about witchcraft. Now, I've seen like the Harry Potters and I've seen other things, but this one specifically, I sat there with my mum on the couch and just felt so uncomfortable. And that is not a movie that I'm going to return and ever watch again because that was God saying to me, this isn't for you. This isn't godly. This isn't bringing you closer to me. This isn't for you. Now my mum can watch this same movie with no problem and just because it's bad for me doesn't mean it's bad for her but when you're sitting there and you're listening to that song that is just going off about swearing and sex or you're watching that movie that's you know 
creepy and has ritual sacrifices or whatever it is that you're watching. Even if it's just a normal show, like you're sitting there watching, I don't know, what's something popular? Crap. Uh, High School Musical, the musical, the series. Now, I've never seen this. I don't know what's in it. And it could be completely fine. No, it's Disney, so I'm assuming no drugs, no swearing, no, none of that stuff. But if you hear in your spirit whatever it is that you are watching, that voice saying, this isn't for you, turn it off. That is, that is you hearing God's voice and you just need to make yourself aware of the fact that that is God. That's something that we all experience and we just don't always realize that it's his voice talking to us. So if you're listening to a song, if you're watching a YouTube video, watching a movie, whatever thing you are doing, it could be you even just hanging out with a certain friend or you going to a certain place. If you feel that mm, kind of feeling inside, trust that that is the Lord, trust that you are hearing him and what good is it if you hear him and just ignore him and don't listen to him? He loves you. He has a plan for you to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. He loves you more than you could possibly imagine. And if he's telling you not to do something, it's for good reason. So trust him and listen to him when he speaks to you. Even if you don't think that's really what's happening. My next one uh, relates again to just the sitting with him and that is spending time in worship. So there are a bunch of amazing songs. I will put some recommendations on the screen around my head and I will chuck them in the description box below of just some really good worship songs that I love, some of which I've heard at you know youth, at church, at Bible college, some of them I've just found, but they're all really, they're good, you know, godly songs and they just kind of create this environment and they help you to step into this atmosphere of just worshiping him. And as you do that, sometimes these truths in these lyrics just hit you different. And that might just be you like, oh, well, it's just this song, but this is God highlighting things to you. It's bringing about this new revelation. The Holy Spirit's working in you. So when you sing, um, for example, Jaira, Jaira, you are enough. And then you pause and you go, oh my gosh, God, you are enough. Like I've been singing this song for a while, but it's just hit me that you are genuinely enough. You are all that I ever need. If I lost everything else in my life, but I still had you, I would still be blessed. So even though you knew that that was what you were singing, God has just revealed to you, the Holy Spirit has just had this revelation in you that yes, he is all you need. Yes, he does love you. Or yes, I genuinely want to make my life a sacrifice to him. Because, you know, this might not necessarily be in Jaira, but it's definitely in some worship songs where you're just reading this and it might not even be like a revelation about God's character, but it can be a revelation about yourself. Like you're sitting there and you're like, Jesus, use me, Lord, use me. And then it's like, oh, when did it become use me instead of bless me? When did I change and I was ready to accept him wholeheartedly. Wow, how much good am I, is God gonna use me for if I'm obedient in him? So as you spend this time in worship, you've just kind of opened yourself up to, to receive from him. Like when you make the room and you sit and you just take that time. But this is just, this is just a new way to do it. And a new way to open yourself up if you're really bored sitting all by yourself in the dark, um, not, not that you have to do it in the dark, but in the quiet or whatever. Just put on some worship music. You've all got phones, I assume. Um, you can chuck on a speaker. If there's a worship night being hosted around you, you can go to that. I know for me that being in a room, taking myself out of my just natural environment and going somewhere. <gasps> Didn't go to the worship night last night. That's sad. Anyway, um, so there's one that I go to sometimes on a Tuesday night. Um, my church hosts some sometimes. If you can find those, those times where you can engage in corporate worship, which just means that you're worshiping with a group of other people. Oh, it's so good because you're all seeking God. You're all chasing him. You've taken that deliberate step of, oh, I'm not just going to sit here and be like, God, but I'm actually going to like take that step and 
leave my house, get in my car or get someone to drive me and I'm going to go to this worship night where I can spend time with other believers as we all chase you together. And that's just a really beautiful thing. So that is my next encouragement to you. Okay, so that is the end of my list today. I didn't want to sit here and just rattle off a whole bunch of things because how God talks to us can be very different, very unique, very special and individual. So how God talks to me might not be how he's going to talk to you. But these are just some ideas, some things that I know work for me and that I believe can work for you, like reading the Bible. That one's never going to let you down, guys. Um, but yes, I hope this has helped. I pray for each and every one of you watching my videos that you take this as an opportunity to step deeper in relationship with him, that you take more time to listen to his voice, and that you just, oh, you just spend more time with him because he's amazing and I love him. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but yes, I know he wants to talk to you and it's always going to be good spending time in his presence and listening to his voice. So as you go throughout this week and next weeks and whenever you're watching this is weeks, I pray that you, I request, I request that you pick even just one of these and just be intentional with setting a time aside and being like, okay, I am going to sit and just spend time with God right now. I'm going to pause. I'm going to read his word. I'm going to listen for his voice and see what comes out of it. I promise you nothing bad will come out of this. So that is my challenge to you. If you accept, uh, comment down below. I would love to hear which one you chose to do. I'll have um, the full list in the description as well. Um, let me know which one you choose to do. Let me know how it goes. I'd love to hear your experience. And yeah, get connected with me, guys. I've got Instagram as well, which will be on one side of my head because I'll decide that when I'm in editing, which side it goes on, but I'll have it on the screen now so you can see. Um, go check that out. I post, not as often as I would like, but I post different um, things in my life, different scriptures, uh, encouraging words, things like that. So go check me out on cultivating underscore my underscore vibe at Instagram. And obviously come back and watch some more videos. I've got some playlists to check out. I've got some sit and chat ones like this one. I've got some vlogs. And if you have any content ideas for me, message me on Instagram, check a comment down below. And I'd love to make content for you guys that you request, because that would just be fun. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day and a blessed week. And that you just spend more time with God this week. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out some of my other stuff and to like my video and to comment on my video and to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload more and all those lovely YouTuber things. I love you guys. God bless. Mwah.